Do you ever, like, wake up from a bad dream and realize you have millions upon millions upon millions of dollars to pay for your hubris? Yeah. Let's just keep scrolling. Okay, these are less than a million apiece. <laughs> less than half a million apiece. Okay, still going, still going. Less than a quarter. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if these were all from the uh, the New Year's celebration, but uh, yeah, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of dough, and uh, yeah, I've got a hundred thirty three dollars, so um, we're gonna have to start making some money. I figured at New Year, hey, maybe it would be nice to have enough money to fast travel in Dero Valley again, because I haven't been able to in a minute, so. Well, looky here. Check this out. This is the first American steam locomotive for Dero Valley. And yes, it does kill me inside that it's a Shea. But you know what? I'll take it. And so far, I haven't really looked at it. I pretty much spawned it in and, and I threw some coal in the firebox to get it fired up. I haven't really looked at it beyond that. And of course, the knuckle couplers are a mod, but... It looks like a pretty authentic model. And then of course, uh, <laughs> it's also got a series of skins that we'll have to take a look at. This is the ES&D Lumber Company <laughs> in pretty nice straight herald there. Oh, look at all the nice reverse mechanisms for everything in the Stevenson valve gear. This is Stevenson valve gear, right? Shays are confusing. Or is that just an eccentric for Walt? No, it's Stevenson. It's got the two links. Two eccentrics, the forward and reverse eccentric for each one. That's weird looking. <laughs> Shays are scary. Oh, look at all the gears are modeled. That must have been a pain in the butt. I can only imagine how much of a pain in the butt that was. This is really good. This shade is made by Katie Cat on Nexus Mods. There'll be a link in the description. The skin pack was also made by Katie Cat. So I figured, hey, let's uh, let's do something we've never done in DRL Valley and run logs with the Shay. I mean, obviously, A, we've never run the Shay, but we've actually not run lumber on the channel at all. And I've actually never run a log train because uh, you go and you look at the dollars that they make and you go, oh yeah, I don't want to, that, that's not very good. But I figured maybe, hey, let's see if we can uh, pull the universe with this thing and lump all these consists together and uh, see if we can't make it to the sawmill with them. I imagine we can. I don't know what the grade is. It's probably not too bad. Let's take a look in the cab here. Oh my God, look, American brake valve handles. Oh my God. I didn't know how much I was missing like a nice brass brake valve handle. That's very nice. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We're still measuring pressure and bar. It's fine. You got the blower. There's the blower. Well, the va uh, okay, it uh, rotates the wrong way. That's weird. Oh, and the, it's actually the injector lever. And it's also backwards. Okay, that's interesting. It's fine. Got a five feet hydrostatic lubricator here that's not plumbed to anything other than the turret. That's fine. <laughs> Condensing valve on it though. Starting starting valve on top, that's interesting. I imagine that's a style that I haven't seen too many five feeds in my day. Got a five feed on a Shea. That's obnoxious. It must not have a mechanical lubricator. Oh, and we got speed and we got a nice little gauge cluster here. Normally these would be like all your brake gauges, but that's a very nice tidy way to put all the gauges together for the game. Headlight selector switch, presumably. Although with logging railroads, I'd imagine they'd just be a scary knife switch. Oh, and we've got a cab light! That's very cool. Old style fire door, which is fun. Oh, two water glasses. Reflex style, it's nice. The turret and the like accurately coiled gauge lines and stuff, it's fun. I don't know what this thing pops at. But it's on the way up. Where's the damper? Does this thing have a damper control? That's sand. Oh, we've got forward and backward sand. And it, uh, okay, there we go. 
Windows that open? Yes. Very good. It's hot in here, you know? Um, I don't know if, if and or where there is a damper. Can oh, they're right in front of your face, Heist. Okay. Presumably that's now open. And we've got a nice Johnson bar. All right, let's see what we got here. Default whistle. Oh, and the roof hatch opens. That's cute. I like that. Now that I fell off, it'll probably close though. Because Deer All Valley. Okay, well anyways, let's uh let's bang into some of the cars here and let's get this thing put together, shall we? Kick the brake off. Let's bring the bar back. And open it wide. Oh goodness. Okay, this thing actually scoots. Oof! I was not expecting that much acceleration out of this thing. <laughs> it sounds like it's going a million mile an hour, but it, it's a Shay, and that's what they do. We're doing 20 kilometers an hour! Look at that! We're, we're highballing through the yard in a Shay! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to check out the other skins, too. I'm gonna grab all these cars, though, first. I should probably lace the air up. Cute. Why is the... Oh. That's interesting. The air is on the... Same. Okay. I wonder if Deer All Valley is backwards and I've never noticed it. Or what? Are these empties? Or did I just murder the cargo by hitting them that hard? Because I thought that all I had was... Uh, those loads, but that's three, three empties? Oh, there's one that's a shunting job. Oh, and it's two pickups. Well, that would be that. I don't feel like shunting today, so maybe I should figure out what cuts of cars I want to grab. I guess I'll grab all the loads, shall I? Well, we'll kick these out the way now that we've, now that we've hooked the air in. Ding dong. All right. We'll bottle the air here. And uh, as the immortal Patrick Starr said, Kicking? I want to do some kicking. I wonder just how fast this thing does go. Surprisingly fast is the answer. All right, so we kick those. Um, brakes. Yep. Yeah, slow down, please. Slow down, please. There we go. Okay. <coughs> Beep, whoop. Okay. That's the other empty there, so... Uh... Phew, come on. No, no. Come back! Alright. Lined into the long cut there. Let's back this thing up. Kick it off. Probably should not couple it. Violent speeds. We did say we wanted to make money, not lose more money. So I should probably be... Oh god, the brakes on this thing are very bad. Oof! <laughs> oh, and I didn't ready the coupler, so we just... We just, you know, violently bypassed the knuckle. It's very fun. I don't know if the, there's not an engine with Stevenson valve gear in the game, is there? I'm trying to think. Maybe, um... Maybe the MAV that we looked at briefly maybe had Stevenson? I don't know. I thought everything that I've seen had wall shirts. Oh, you can feel the, the amount of train behind you in this thing. Oh, we've almost run this thing out of pressure. Why are you no mix steams? We need more water in this thing? Or more fire in this thing? Fire's full. Okay, well, we've successfully run it out of pressure. Someone did say to disable the realistic steam overhaul mod with this. I don't know if that's still true. I did update everything before I started filming this. So I think we're, we're gonna just, we're just gonna do that. Turn that off. By the way, if you wanted to look at all the mods I use, here they are. Although many of them are turned off at the moment, so. I don't know what you're talking about. This is completely the same locomotive. Definitely, we just, um, 
you know, changed the uh, the railroad real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, to show Khan, our railroads made it into another game. That's very fun. Oh goodness, yeah, that accelerates a lot faster when it has steam. All right, bunk. Okay, and move it forward. Hopefully that blower is gonna be enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Come on, sweetheart. It's hard to tell with the, the obnoxious Deer All Valley chuffing sounds if it's actually chuffing with each cylinder properly. I imagine that Katie did that work to make that happen. It's hard to tell though. I wish we had better chuff sounds. Maybe those will be coming with simulator. One can dream. All right, let's get lined up over here while we're still pulling ahead. Come on, you got places to be. Oh, see, well, this one's got this car's got the air on the other side. Air's tied in. Oh, it's a minus 1.8. Oh goodness, shoving back through this is going to be. Had I known it was a minus 1.8, I should have grabbed. <laughs> should have grabbed the shortcuts of cars first. This might get interesting. Come on. Yeah, you can see the track fall off there. Although this thing's got... This thing's got torque for days. I mean, that's what it should have, right? Ooh, I'm standing on the train still? That's interesting. Come on! Clear the switch. <laughs> I'm true to a shade. It doesn't want to roll. <laughs> Come on. Just a little bit more. And you can get it wide open in the corner and it doesn't care because of gears. That's fun. Alright. Speaking wide open in the corner, we'll put it wide open in reverse and I'm sure that's going to be hilariously bad for the choo-choo. Let's see about banging into these next two cuts of cars. So we're grabbing the short cut first and then the medium-ish cut at last. That's probably for the best. Did this thing dump the air? What are you guys doing? What what in the name of air brakes is going on on this train? Everything's set up somehow. Probably from me running out of steam pressure in the other engine. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Is Katie Cat the coolest human ever? Hang on. I'm gonna set the air up real quick. Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, well, we're. <laughs> we can't hold this train back on this grade, apparently. Can we start again, maybe, if I kick the air off? The Stevenson Valve Gear is animated, ladies and gents. I'm sure that was just an absolute chore to get through. Oh, oh, now we've got, now we've got all the power, apparently. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can see that the, uh, the links have come all the way out to be in reverse right now, and then the pivot point that's actually on the valve is all the way at the end of each of those banana-looking things, which is called an expansion link in wall shirts, but I can't remember what it's called in Stevenson Valve Graph at the top of my head. That's what I get for... Trying to live record and not preparing. It's fine. I also didn't realize that the Shea was going to have Stevenson Valve Gear. I think most of them did, and, and some late Shays actually did have uh, Wall Shirts Valve Gear instead. Because so I want to say that the uh, the two Shays that we have at the museum, West Side 12 and 14, they're not owned by the museum, so uh, hold your, is that going to get restored to run? Questions, please. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Those two Shays, um, I believe one Stevenson and one, one is Wall Shirts, actually, which is pretty cool. Okay. Give us a little breaks. Ouch! Okay. Okay, now we're being run over. It's fine. And we'll just cut the air in. It's weird. Some of these cars have the air on the wrong side. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if that's Dero Valley or mods or what. All right. Can you make more steams, please, Chuchu? Oh, I mean, okay, you're out of water again. Got it. I see the problem. 
And you're out of fire. Okay. Well, I guess that's why you're not making any stains. Those are reasonable assumptions. Help, I've died in a boiler explosion. Welcome to the heist, YouTube. <laughs> Come on. Can it pull with six or seven bar? Not with the whole train set up, it can't. All right, we're gonna play brakeman and just run across the top of the train and uh, bleed all the brake valves again. I've got the air brake mod on by Zybok, which uh, is a wonderful mod, but definitely uh, it helps to have the HUD mod on too. I still have the, the HUD mod off from filming the New Year's shenanigan. Oh, it'll pull on nine bar, all right. God, this thing is a beast. Okay, so now that we're going forward, you can see that the links are all the way the other way. That's really cool. Cheers to Katie Cat for doing that. That's... That is awesome. <laughs> this thing's a brute. We're gonna have to do some heavy hauls out of the coal mine with this thing, that's for sure. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna see if we can't bang into this last set of cars, though. So we only gotta go one track over. Oh, have we filled this thing full of water yet? No. St still hasn't even really added any on the gauge. Okay, well, you know, this crown sheet is thoroughly melted, particularly now that I've got the fire and blower raging. It's fine. When they add boiler explosions I in simulator, I'm going to just have the worst of times. It'll be hilarious, but it'll be the worst of times. You can guarantee that. <laughs> and it's like, ice, you... Aren't you a real railroader? Aren't you supposed to be good at this? It's like, no, the whole point of playing train video games is so you can play fast and loose and break things. Because you can't do that on the real thing. Well, I mean, you can, but you really shouldn't. And you try your darndest not to. So it's very nice to just be able to be casual and just do silly stuff with trains, which is my favorite thing about railroad video games. Okay. Dumping the air from the angle cock while riding on the coupler. Speaking of unsafe things to do on, on the train. And these didn't dump. Dump! Brakes! This, uh, this grade's pretty stout. This is gonna be interesting if we can see if we can back up this. Oh, it's trying! This grade is awful. Okay, we might just have to buy these two jobs and just go, because I don't think we're gonna be able to shove back up that. All right, let's see. The three cars and then the long ones. Okay, doot, and then doot. Okay, we'll figure out that and we're, let's go to the sawmill! As this train is just still in full reverse and just, just being dragged down the grade. It's fine. All right, with the air dumps, it's true logging road vibes. Here we go. Is that top speed? Might be. Let's hook this thing up a little bit. We don't need to be. Oh yeah, we we have ruined all of the steams. We do we still have coal in there? We have coal. Okay, that's fine. Blower is open. Damper is, I don't know, probably open. It's fine. We are lined to the right. It goes to the left. I think that goes to the, uh... Oh, goodness. This is just the world's steepest downhill to the, uh... <laughs> we don't need the shave for this direction. We need the shave for the other direction of this pull. Because, oh, yeah, we're destroying the, the, the gear on this train. Air? Is there air? All right, I've dumped it, and uh, something about the air brakes is not not happy at this moment. I'm just gonna put it in reverse. Well, we had it wide open still. That was part of the problem. Nailed it, Heist. Oh, yeah, but look, you can... Watching the valve gear move is more important than not bending it. Good God. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure why the brakes aren't working. It's fine. It's fine. It still says 30 and we're doing 50. It's fine. It's fine. It's still fine. It's still fine. It's still fine. How is it still fine? That was, uh, that was a little spicy. 
This is going to be the fastest run into the sawmill ever, ever in existence, I think. Provided we don't... How are we not coming off? Good lord. What even was that junction? Oh, that's where the, um, the caboose or the hand car or something is, I think. Can you make steam? You're full of water now. You have all of the water. And there's still fire. Make steam. Where's my scoop? I need more coal. Okay. That's that. I think the blower's on. Oh. We should shut the reg. Ding dong. If we want to make steam, helps if helps if you're not, like, using all of the steam instantaneously. <laughs> it's fine. This is quite the train this thing's got behind it. Oh, and this is quite the big fill. This is the fastest a Shay's ever gone. Neurom. <laughs> oh goodness, 50 kilometer an hour. That's light speed on a Shay. We're lined to the right. I don't think we want to be lined to the right. Where, where are we going? We're going to the sawmill. We want to be lined to the left. It's been eons since I've been on this part of the map. Because I honestly, genuinely have not played Deer Elk Valley with the lumber side of things in quite some time. But, you know, Shay, logging engine, seems, feels appropriate. Continue making steam, please, friend. I can't hold these logs back. They're very dense, apparently. But thankfully, it's also apparently very hard to derail at the moment for some reason. Air is still dumped. I guess we can try and recharge it. Okay, we're picking up speed now, so we're gonna just leave that independent wide on. It's fine. I don't even know where, what tracks we need to go to. We need to go to the B3I and the C3I. Oh God, there's a B and a C yard at the sawmill. Oh, now it's a plus two. All right, well now now we'll slow down at least. Goodness, what is this roller coaster of a railroad through here? We've got steam. The, the air's released. All of the air's released. We're still coasting. But yeah, you can watch how fast that speed's losing it. How many tons do we have behind it? I don't even know. I just coupled up a bunch of cars and said, to heck with it. 200 tons on the short consist. And 462 on the other one, so like 600, almost 700 tons. All right. Let's see if we can't. Oh, probably put the bar in forwards, ding dong. Come on. And we're going so fast that it still can't make chuff noises, which is not good. But it seems to be holding speed. <laughs> it's not holding pressure, though. Oh, my goodness. Just got to keep that thing nice and hooked up. You got this, Shay! <laughs> this is such a cool looking engine! Alright, more power. Is that damper open? Or is that damper open? Oh, we're out of coal! <laughs> Throw the paperwork in! seems to have helped. I don't know which way is open. I've never op- well, I have operated one locomotive with the damper, but it was an oil burner. Okay, that seems to have slowed the rate of that a l decent bit. Come on. Oh, I can't- I can't lose the- can't lose the steam. Just give it a click back. We want to be trying to gain steam on this if we can. So we're gaining a little bit of steam here at the expense of a little speed. Come on, Shay! This is what you're designed for! Slogging it out up the hill! Is the blower still wide open? Give us everything! Give us anything! Okay, 
Okay, we're still gaining steam. I keep trying to press the number one and it keeps pulling up the, the paperwork. Alright, I'm gonna put the bar in the corner. Just give me anything. Give me everything you've got. Use those gears! <laughs> oh, We're nowhere near MAWP. We, uh, we were not very good with our steam usage here. And we've had the gun on the whole time, too. We might have to stop and build steam, which is, um, hopeful that we have air brakes. Alright. It's a foregone conclusion. Independence on as hard as it can. We're not rolling back. So there's that. We'll let the uh, let the pressure come up, and then we'll and then we'll go again. I suppose now's a good time to take a look at the other skins that we've got for this thing. So reskin. We've got the Central Rio and Pacific, which is hilarious. Yes, and D Lumber Company. Very good. Oh, I don't want. I don't want no. I don't want sounds. Reskin. Lumber default shade. So this is what it looks like normally. Pretty classic. Oh, so we got the ESD lumber and the Central Rio and Pacific. The crap! The crap has made it to D-Rail Valley. I love it. Come on, Gage. Come on up. Let's make sure there's still coal. I'm not sure how many shays were actually coal burners. Obviously, for the sake of the game, it has to be for the mechanics. But a lot of them were wood burners because logs and fuel plenty. And then later on, they got converted to oil burning because they had lots of forest fire problems. But I'm not actually sure how many actually burned coal. Okay, MAWP is just under 14 bar. So we're going to whistle off here. Come on, Shay. Show everyone what you're meant to do. Just absolutely pull the paint off of the side of the barn. Yes. Look at all that madness! Look at all this! That's a lot of really cool stuff, and that must have been a total pain to animate and rig up. So cheers to Katie for getting that done. This thing's awesome. So a lot of people who have been around on the channel for a while know that uh, I generally have a bit of a distaste for geared engines just because of their design. They were really good at what they did, and the, like the Shea is doing what it would do back in the day, and it's doing it quite handily here I would say as well, although the uh, steam demand is not keeping up, but that's probably more a D-Rail Valley thing than anything else. Um, Shays, Climaxes, Heislers, Lamets, all the types of geared engines. I'm sure I'm forgetting some that people will quiz me on in the comments, but they all actually were pretty good at what they did. Uh, they just did it slowly and with lots of vibration. The thing that we're not getting in the Steerall Valley virtual experience is that this thing would be vibrating like mad. These gear meshes are nowhere near this smooth for real, so. <laughs> okay, well, uh... We used two bar of pressure, and uh, that's that. So I guess we'll uh, build pressure up again. All right, back at MAWP again. Let's go. Come on. All the beans! Beans! You've, you've got everything you need. Come on, sweetheart. Dunk. We're wide open. Is this great? This, this gnarly through here? Are there any brakes set up? No, there's no brakes set up. Oh, that last bit was uh, slightly not on the grade. Well, we're not making the time bonus today. That's for sure. Does sand do anything silly? No, it shouldn't, but you never know with these video games. Needs more water. Come on. Come on! 
Okay, let it roll back a little bit. Take the slack out. Come on! Yes! Alright. Sort of like a product of the real thing. Sometimes they could center up, although it's a lot harder to center up a triple cylindered engine than it is a, a two cylinder engine, but getting a little momentum going that way seems to be helping. Yeah, anyways, back to the, the discussion about logging engines. The issue that I have is more so in the design. Obviously, they were successful in what they did, but when you look at the way that they're actually set up, they don't make a lot of sense. With the Shea, all of the weight is on the one side because the boiler is offset. So your boiler and everything is offset to the left side of the engine, right side as we look at it from the front here. And then all of your kinematics are on the other side. You've got a drive shaft running down one side of the locomotive obviously made the gear mesh meshes a lot easier to set up and all that but it meant that the universal joints and the drive shaft meant that it basically had a harder times going around right hand turns than it did left hand turns in extreme cases because the drive shaft was being forced to compress or stretch more so it's like okay well that's a little silly why why does it have to do that well that's the that's the design and Climaxes and, and Heistlers all have similar little oddities about them that make them not necessarily the most simple or easy pieces of machini machinery to operate. This climb sucks. <laughs> Out of steam again. Okay, well, we'll just do that. Set the brake. Close the throttle. Oh, now we're rolling. Come on, Shay. Do I really need to just keep throttle against this thing? I don't know what's wrong with the automatic brake. The air brake mod is not tossing any uh, any problems. I wonder maybe if it's incompatible with the current mod or with the Shea mod. Maybe it is. All right, well, we're coming up to pressure pretty quick now. That's good. We did let the fire die out of it pretty bad, so that's maybe partially on my, uh, my fault for Letting the engine slow down. We'll see what we can do once it actually takes off here. That's trying to. You can see those gears spinning. Alright. We'll try horsing the bar around a little bit. Just enough to get a little momentum. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You got this. Come on! Come on, Shay! Go! <laughs> It's no longer chuffing, but it's going. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, thing. All right. Got to be on the coal here because it seems like it's working now. But yeah, it is eating the coal. So I think I had the damper in the wrong position initially. Down is open. Which I guess makes sense if you think about how the leverage would work for like a, an actual damper control. Now it's definitely keeping up with the steam demand. Okay, we just gotta keep coal in the hole. All right, but where 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 are we going? So B is there and C is to the left, which cuts going where? It'd be easiest if we go and drop the short one and then back in with the other one. The short one is going to C3 inbound, so we'll run through C, cut that off the rear. This thing's doing a proper show of smoke right now. Come on. Just leave the fire door open, just keep filling it. How's the water? Water is plumb full. Got it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I love it. what it's designed for slogging it out at zero miles an hour basically <laughs> all right let's go line the line the switch in for c3 inbound here okay i've heard rumors that my buddy greg is working on uh some more american steam for the game i've heard rumor mills of such i'm excited for that and of course simulator is supposed to come out sometime next year which is also very exciting so I know that there's not been too much DRL Valley content lately, and I know a lot of you guys miss it, because it's a lot of fun, and I really enjoy this game, but that's kind of been a waiting for content thing, and then the Shay did come, and everyone was like, why haven't you done the Shay yet? And it's like, oh, because 
America's busy and Polar Express and so much footage and why are we slowing down? We have steam. You have all of the steam, Shay, come on! Is the last of this grade just that much worse? You've got like a hundred feet to make it, mate, come on! Air's released. I don't know why I pulled out my belt pack. Throttle's wide open, bar's in the corner. What, what more could you want? Less cars, got it. I mean, I guess you could want less cars. That hasn't stopped yet though. If this thing just keeps going, just at this speed, at this very slow walking speed, I'm gonna be very impressed. I should probably actually stop running the blower so hard so that I can try and keep it at M MAWP. But God, it just generates steam so fast right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, I guess we can just burn all of the fuel then, why not? It's still going. Just needs to get, like, the switch is flat. You can see, you can see the, literally see the joint in splines. <laughs> you ever heard that Johnny Cash song? I don't hear that train a coming. It's maybe coming around the bend. It hasn't gone more than two mile an hour since I don't know when. I'm stuck at the sawmill. And this train keeps dragging out. <laughs> okay, we've officially stalled. Okay. Oh, and it's and th there goes the coal. I watched the coal disappear. Okay. Well, it's got full pressure. I guess we'll we'll try and see if we can horse the bar a smidge, get a little momentum trick going. Is that going to be enough to cheat it? To cheat death here? Maybe. Come on, thing! Shay! Center it up a little bit, a little bit reverse. Just give us that little bit. I don't want to have to spawn something to help you. Come on! Come on! Go! <laughs> If it makes it a hundred feet to the point of the grade being flat again, I swear to God. Oh, it's still going. It's just the slowest of slow rides. <laughs> oh. No longer still going. Again, we'll just try and cheese the bar a little bit. You can feel the slack gathering when it does that. We're gonna just keep cheesing that uh, and uh, making that happen as long as we can. Oh, I heard the safety valve stop and I got nervous. <laughs> oh, on two fronts. Come on, Heist, stop blowing up your locomotive. <laughs> Fire attempts on the way back up. It's good, melt the crown sheet again. Okay. Now that we're back to exploding the locomotive, bar just a little bit. It's hilarious that this is working right now. Come on! The slowest of slow rides! This is the slowest log train ever pulled by a geared engine ever. Come on! <laughs> it's fun getting to watch the gears spin from here though. All right. And the fact that you can watch the actual tumbling shaft for the valve gear and everything, that's just so cool. Come on, train! <laughs> I'm trying to channel my best inner Jeremy Clarkson right now. Come on! Come on! Speed and pa- I mean, torque and power! 
Slow and power. Come on. All right, kick it there. All right. guys know the story at this point it's been 16 hours of climbing this hill so far this episode come on train go <laughs> i really wish that i'd figured out the damper before we hit this hill because had i known that we would have gotten we probably would have made it up the hill in one plunge instead of doing this madness but the madness is working so we're gonna just continue to do it We gotta watch this moment. We've been waiting for so long. Oh my god. Come on, Shay. Yes. 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 Do we declare victory now that one wheel's passed? <laughs> We've almost blown the engine up again. It's almost out of water again. We're chuffing again! It's been so long since I've heard a chuff! Can you believe it? Go, train, go! At the same time, I have to bring the bar back to try and save some of the limited amount of steam that we have. Because, uh, we out of water. At least as far as I can tell. I don't know, uh how far down below the water glass the uh, water level goes in this game, but... Oh my goodness. Well, there you go! What do Shays exist for? What do geared engines exist for? That! There's a lesson. A lesson in geared locomotive BS. <laughs> oh, this thing's awesome. are losing that steam pretty quick now that we're getting a little speed. Oh, but we're able to build steam still. So there's that. We're holding right there. Yeah, no one said it was going to be fast with the Shay. I think it's actually promised that things won't be fast with the Shay. Okay, so we're lined into C3. And then the other side's probably another cliff. Oh god. Minus 0.8. It's not as much of a cliff, but running through means that we're gonna have to deal with... Oh, well, maybe we could enlist Greg's help. Running through means that we're gonna have to run past and then shove the other side. Okay. Let's hook that bar up. Not that high. some fun physics on this lever, which is fun. <laughs> okay. We're ready to pull in. Oh man, we're getting into like big tempo exhausts now. I don't even know what to think about this. It's been so long. It's been so long since I've gone five miles an hour. I forgot what it was like. <laughs> Goodness. That was a battle. It was a hard fought battle. It was engaging. That was fun. 
Oh my god. Alright, so we gotta drop the last three cars in this track. So once we get up ahead, far enough in, we'll go cut these guys off. And then we'll let them do their thing. We're gonna cut the air out right now. At least on our cars. We can let these other ones dump. We we'll wanna get them far enough in on the C3 inbound here. I don't know where the station is, so I'll we'll figure that out. Okay, well, there's two cars past the sign. That'll probably be good. Dunk. Bye. Okay, the brakes do work. All right, it's plenty of speed. Let's save our steam. That would be the station building right there. Okay. Let's start setting them up. Okay, brake pipes do brake pipe things now. Not sure what was going on earlier. Cars were confused. Let's kick it off. And start redu redu reductions. So that's a big meaty set. Okay. Let that set bite the train down. Hopefully it'll stop. Just past the switch. Looking pretty good. Okay. All right, all right. Brilliant. That's lined. Okay, let's go. We don't want to be, that's lined into Greg's engine. We need to go to the B3 inbound, which is over there. While we're over here, we may as well turn in that contract just to see how sad the time is on just that one. 40 minutes. $4,500 for that pain. All right, look at that. Hey, but that's like, um, I've increased the amount of money in my wallet by like a thousand million percent, I think. We'll be ready to pay off that $500,000 for those millions upon millions of dollars in no time. And shove them. Come on, Shay. Show us what you got. Oh, Shay's like, oh, dude, 0.8% few less cars. I don't give a crap about that. I got you for days. Hook it up in reverse. Look at this. It is so, I, I cannot express to you how refreshing it is to see like American style levers and hasps and grabbers and things in this game. It feels so much more natural to see like brass polished brake valve handles like this and, and the little squeezes on the Johnson bar and the throttle and like, I don't know. It feels like old home week right now. And that's, that's awesome. This is a really cool model. Definitely niche and, and more for the fun of playing with, specifically than like being an upgrade to like the SH-282 or anything, because I believe it probably pulls less based on that. I actually don't know. Maybe it pulls more and that, I just don't know how ridiculously steep that grade is up to the sawmill. I'm sure somebody will answer in the comments for me, but definitely a very fun model. Very, very cool to see the valve gear in animation, of course. First Stevenson valve gear, first American steam engine for Deer Isle Valley. Uh, yeah, what a treat. What a treat today. And of course, with uh, the fictitious railroad skins on it. That always makes my day. I actually need to look at some of the other things in Deer Isle Valley, the, uh, the ES and DT skins in more detail. We looked at them on one live stream. And then as well, the uh, there's uh, S, S and DS skins, the uh, ES and Ds sit, uh, RGS equivalent. All right, pop that air hose. Dunk. Oh no, did it just shut? We oh no! Okay, I thought this track was longer. I was all doing my outro like, oh yeah, we're gonna done. I'm gonna turn the job in, but still screwing it up one way. Let's see, ready coupler. All right, now let's drag him ahead. Oh, I should probably bleed the air. All right, Shay, come on.
I'm gonna stop this because it's gonna be a pretty decent spot here, I think, to get all those cars in. All right, now we can stop. Just dump that, dump that. You don't have to be between the sides, I don't think, so it'll probably be okay right there. Okay. Let's see, what's the final damage here? In progress. Are we not stopped? Sawmill? B3I. Do you have to be between the, the signs? Really? Okay! <laughs> Go ahead and bring him back! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it's finally run out of steam! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the wrong cut of cars. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. <laughs> so much for watching <laughs> what a uh, what a disaster there were this is the only long cut of cars that was in the yard i should have checked that's what i get for being lazy <laughs> oh goodness well bleh. don't need that anymore thanks for watching everyone